Massachusetts HVAC license. Even though a Massachusetts license is optional, you will have many benefits when you obtain it. If you obtain an HVAC license, you will enter the growing industry with a very positive career. You will get a higher salary, as you have a license. You can start your own HVAC business with the license. There are three types of licenses in Massachusetts. The first one is a refrigeration license. The second one is an EPA license. And the third one is the NATE license. In Massachusetts, you only need a license when you work with more than 10 tons of refrigeration. If you work for industrial sites, commercial areas, and industrial sites, you will need a refrigeration license. So an HVAC technician in Massachusetts can earn about $34 an hour with the refrigeration license. The federal government issues an EPA license. This license certifies that a person can handle the refrigerant chemicals used in most HVAC systems. People who have this type of license can earn about $26 for an hour. The NIT license displays the understanding of HVAC systems. It stands for North American Technician Excellence. This type of license verifies your training and education. If you do not have this type of license, you will get less than $5 to $10 per hour. The costs vary in different states. In Massachusetts, you have to pay $75 for the application in order to take the exam. In order to have an EPA license, you have to take a test. You can find many providers that offer training before the exams. But you can study on your own, too. The costs differ in different organizations. But mostly it costs no more than $100. You do not need to renew the EPA license in Massachusetts. In order to have an EPA license, you have to take a test. The costs differ in different organizations, but mostly it costs no more than $100. You do not need to renew the EPA license in Massachusetts. For an air conditioning and refrigeration license, you have to provide your EPA certification and proof of a combination of work and education experience. Firstly, you must provide proof of 6,000 hours as an apprentice and 250 hours of refrigeration education. Or you can present proof of 4,000 hours as an apprentice and 500 hours of refrigeration education. And lastly, you can show proof of 2,000 hours as an apprentice and 1,000 hours of education.